Also new tonight at 11, tractor trailers passing through town are clogging the traffic in Vandalia. Tonight, the city is working to get them off local streets and back on the highway. Kristen Eskow is working for you to explain what the city officials are doing to fix the problem. Broken Mark, the city recently installed new signage, and officials are talking with trucking companies to encourage those drivers to use the interstate. Some neighbors say they've already noticed a difference. And I don't think they mean to, but cutting the corners because the streets aren't made for them. It's they're going up on these sidewalks, you know, knocking poles, knocking signs down. Neighbors like Megan Brady have noticed more trucks on the streets of Vandalia. And city leaders say it's been a problem for several years. We've heard from our residents that uh, the number of semi trucks that are traveling through the city, really through the heart of the city, has increased and it's clogged up traffic. Vandalia Communications Manager Rich Hopkins says the city recently installed signs for $27,000 to help redirect truck traffic to the interstate. He says city officials have also called truck companies asking them to encourage drivers to use I-70 or I-75 or go around the city on airport access road. For the drivers of the trucks, they're not getting stopped at, at stoplights, they're not getting involved in congested traffic. You know, the interstate moves very quickly and they can get where they're going quicker. But for the city, you know, the folks that are using these surface streets makes it a lot easier when there's not as many trucks. The city installed the new signs just within the last few weeks. Brady says she's already noticed a difference. The truckers are finding different ways to get there, so I have noticed that there's not as many big trucks coming up and down the street. So I think they've worked well. And city officials say they've also prohibited tractor trailers from making right turns onto National Road from Dixie Drive due to safety concerns there. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.